Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures going into this truth and how truly blessed us Akiyam and Akwath are to have been able to obtain the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures and its true veracity. Those of us that have been able to receive this gospel, you know, being that it is uh, the glue to salvation, you know, being that we are about to head into the worst times that the earth has ever seen. In the form of Jacob's trouble. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That refuse to hearken to the report. That the prophets. Have been trying to tell you. For decades now. Starting with the elders and apostles. Of great millstone on down. And the like-minded men. Where well, you're going to find yourself left outside. Of the temple. And you're not going to be able to escape. The scourges that are going to be sent by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to fall into the hands of the fowler, which is Esau Edom, the so called white man. For those of us that have been predestinated to be able to have received this truth, and by the way, which is the greatest act of mercy that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai could have done for any one of us. Well, if we're able to endure until the end, we're going to see salvation. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I wanted to get into was the book of Psalms. The 91st chapter, starting at verse 1. And it reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. What's the secret place of the Most High? The scriptures. That's why scripture says, Blessed is the man that readeth. Right? Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. And my fortress, my power, and him will I trust, right? We have no other hope. All we have is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because the times that we're coming into, in the form of Jacob's trouble, it's going to take divine intervention to be able to escape. What's going to come upon the planet Earth, man? From the pestilences to the military that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is going to usher in in the form of martial law. The FEMA camps. Right? Civil unrest. The famine. See, it's going to take divine intervention to be able to, to escape these things. And only those that have this word in them. Only those that have been purified and made white and tried are going to be able to escape these calamities that are going to be sent by Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The book of Psalms, chapter 91 and verse 3, and it reads, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. See, a snare is a trap. And the fowler is the trap setter. 
And that fowler is none other than Esau Edom, the so-called white man. His system, his whole system is made up of snares and, and, and ways of uh, trapping the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American into a, a downward uh, a spiral, man. This system set up for the downfall of our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. See, this is why the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American overpopulate the prison system in Babylon the Great. See, because we're in the we are in the battlements of the city, man. We are in uh, <laughs> behind enemy lines. You see. But Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, in these days to come, when this devil, Esau Edom, sets even more snares, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his elect from this damn snap, from this damn fowler, man. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. And from the noisome pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings. Show thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. See, it's this word, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. This gospel is what's going to be the stability of our times, as it says in Isaiah. What's that? Isaiah 33. Let's go grab that. See, this word, this truth is going to be our shield and buckler. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans without this truth, you're doomed. See? Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom, man. What's that? Wisdom of Solomon in the seventh chapter. The book of Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6, and it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Wisdom and knowledge of the world? No. Wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai said the wisdom of this world is foolishness to him. You see? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, understanding the true will of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and, and, and those of us so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that have turned back and repented in all truth and sincerity, purified and made white, are going to be stable. In the times of Jacob's trouble. And strength of salvation. See. The fear of the Lord. Is his treasure. And only those of the hopeful elect. Fear. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai. And it's shown through the actions of the hopeful elect. See. The hopeful elect have turned back and repented. Okay. Which means to turn back. When you repent means to turn back. All right. We've let go of the idols of Babylon the Great. We've, we've let go of the, the, the customs and the ways of, our, of these heathen. And we've returned back to the, to the obedience of the scriptures, man. In the name of Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? Only those that fear Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. I gotta do those things. See? This is why only a remnant of Israel is gonna be delivered. All of Israel is not being delivered, and no heathen is being delivered. You know, contrary to popular belief, you wacky tacky Christians, if you see a heathen going up into the chariot, well, <laughs> that's not a heathen. That's an Israelite. You see? The book of Isaiah. Chapter 41 and verse 8, and it reads, But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. See? The seed of Abraham, my friend. Okay? <laughs> the chosen seed of Abraham. Who was the chosen seed of Abraham? Isaac. You see? For you wacky tacky Christians, I think everybody can be saved. Isaac was the chosen seed. Matter of fact, not to get uh, sidetracked, 
But let me just prove that real quick. You know, for the sake of new listeners, the book of Genesis chapter 17, I'm going to go straight to the point. In verse 19, I recommend you read the whole chapter. And it reads, the book of Genesis chapter 17 and verse 19, it reads, And Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. You see? And who's, who, 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 what seed did it go through out of Isaac's two sons he had? Out of Jacob and Esau. Jacob. You see? <laughs> There's a chosen lineage, a chosen seed. And, and those of that chosen lineage have the true gospel today. And it's being preached throughout all four corners of the earth. And that same chosen seed is going to be delivered. It's gonna. It's the same chosen seed is gonna be delivered out of the uh, uh, Babylon the Great and other areas of the earth where we're scattered, man. You see, whether you can believe that or not. Let's go back to uh, Isaiah forty-one and continue on. The book of Isaiah, chapter forty-one, and verse nine. It reads, "Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth." And called thee from the chief men thereof. And said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. See, <clears throat> Salakia, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has not forgotten about his people. The one third of Israel has not been forgotten. Those that are sighing and crying for the abominations that are being done in the midst thereof. You see? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, he hears our cries, he hears our prayers, he hears our supplications. You see? The elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing with pride of that precious number, has not been cast away. Verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Who is Yahweh's right hand? Yahweh Shai. You see? <laughs> Yahweh Shai, who comes in the volume of the book. See, so those of us that have been able to receive this gospel and its true veracity, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai is going to uphold us, man. Yahweh Shai is going to come through. <laughs> In these days of trouble, those of us of the whole four elect, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai is going to give his angels charge over us, man. You see? We're going to be protected. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. We're going to be protected. He's going to send... Uh, who who do you think Michael's coming for? <laughs> Michael that's going to stand up in these, in these days of trouble. Let's get that. In the book of Daniel. <clears throat> who you think sending uh, Daniel? Yahweh Shai sending Daniel. Daniel being the... Uh, uh, second in command under Yahweh Shai... Right over the host of over the hosts, right over the armies of heaven. That's Yahweh Shai's go to right there. He's sending Michael. Let's get this. Daniel, the book of Daniel, chapter twelve and verse one, and it reads, "And at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people." And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, right? And that time of trouble is Jacob's trouble. You see where you, you two-thirds, right? The majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to get caught up in 
the most grievous judgment ever known to man, man. This is going to be the worst judgments that come upon y'all ever. Y'all think y'all had it bad throughout the course of the transatlantic slave trade? That was nothing. The way your how about Shimei is about to put it on y'all this time around is going to be un unspeakable. You see? You're going to be giving up to your own devices. Because you did not choose the way of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. See? And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. The remnant, you see, of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's people. Right? Everyone that shall be found written in the book, right? The book of life. <laughs> see? Which those names uh, uh, have been written in the book of life since the foundation of the earth, man. This thing's all about uh, predestination. <laughs> and you got you got a nigga, you know, right on time. But anyway, yeah, those names written in the book of life were predestined, predestinated since the beginning of time, man. Huh? You see, and those are the only ones that are gonna be able to escape. Jacob's trouble. You see, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to allow Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, to put his hands on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in a whole new way, man. You see? Matter of fact, let's go, let's go to Jeremiah. Let's get that Jacob's trouble. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans think Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is playing with you. You see? It's going to come a time where you wake up and you realize you should have did what was right. But it's going to be way too late. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 4, and it reads, And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, all 12 tribes. Verse 5, for thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. This is contrary to what these wacky, tacky Christian pastors are telling y'all. See, the majority of y'all in these churches being told these smooth things that they ain't no Jacob's trouble, that they ain't no microchip, that everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to everything's gonna go back to the way it was. No. You no, know, this is what's going on right here. I'm going to read this again from the top. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 5. And it reads, For thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And this is what the true men of the Lord, the true prophets of the Lord, are, 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 are preaching on the highways and byways throughout all four corners of the earth. Stand with the elders and apostles of great millstone on down. Okay? And the, to the like-minded men. This is the report. Okay? That trouble's coming. Not peace. All hell's gonna break loose. Okay? Not peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? As a woman in travail. You see that? So men. Holding themselves. Like a pregnant woman. Holding their, holding their loins. <laughs> you see? An agony man. Of what's going to come upon the planet earth. Throughout the, throughout the time of Jacob's trouble. Right? Continuing on. Our faces are turned into paleness. You see that? It's going to be nothing but horror. See? And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, I ain't want to listen. You're going to be right in the midst of it with no covering, with no peace of mind, with no precepts. Okay? With no angels encamping around you. You're going to be utterly through. See? It's all fun and games now. You're going to be utterly through. Verse 7. At last, for that day is great, 
so that none is like it, right? It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's that he? The remnant, those that turn from their iniquity. Not all you so-called Negroes are teaching the name of Americans because two-thirds of you is written. Zechariah 13 and 8. That you're going to be cut off and die because you're not going to listen. You see? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to do magnificent things and redeem his people starting with the elect on this side. You see? And this can be proven in the book of Isaiah. The 59th chapter. Starting at the 19th verse and it reads So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west And his glory from the rising of the sun Right, from the east to the west Okay, they're going to fear the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai When the enemy shall come in like a flood The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him You see, and this standard is going to be lifted for Salakia, this standard is going to be lifted for the elect of Israel. You see? Not for some wicked nigga in the middle of the hood on a dead end street that's, that, that's going to get caught by the Gooper Troopers with an L in his mouth. No. The remnant, those that have turned from their wickedness. Man of let's continue on and prove that. Verse 20. And the Redeemer, which is Yahweh Shai, shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. You see, saith the Lord, that's that Jacob that's going to be saved out of it in Jeremiah 30 and 7. You see, those that turn from transgression. Those that have repented, that have repented. The meek. Those of us that are uh, ashamed, you know, of our of our past, you know, in this life. You know, those of us that are conflicted in the spirit for the things we were, we were involved in before the truth, man. Those of us that have truly turned back to our power. In spirit and in truth. This is that Jacob that's going to be saved out of it, man. <laughs> you see? And at the end of the day, the word is in those of the hopeful elect. In that remnant. That gospel. You see? Which is, again, the glue to our salvation. Lord willing, we endure until the end. Let me close out here if the Spirit allows. Let's go to um, the book of Psalms. Chapter 91. Let's go back to chapter 91. And I want to... Um, let me just get something down here. Yeah, let's close out here if the Spirit allows. I'm going to start at verse 14. Verse 16 is the point. The book of Psalms, chapter 91 and verse 14. And it reads, Because he had set his love upon me, how do you set your love upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? What scripture say? If you love me, keep my commandments. Right? And this is what those of the hopeful elect do. To the best of our ability, we try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We rehearse the righteous acts. See? We're obedient to our power. This is what's pleasing to him. And what's going to be the outcome of that? Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. You see, I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Giving credence to how critical it is to know the names of the highest power conceivable and the only begotten son. <laughs> you know, here it is. You got these wayward camps and these wacky tacky Christian pastors saying you can call them anything you want. Pretty much it all means the same thing. No, 
according to the uh, prologue in the uh, in the apocrypha, uh, the the Hebrew, uh, uh, the Hebrew it, it has more uh, intensity behind it, man. You see, all right, the Lashon Kodesh is the ancient tongue, all right, that was being spoken by our forefathers, man. Okay, they weren't running around calling Yahweh, uh, calling Yahweh Shai, uh, Jesus Christos, or any of these other names, man. No. I mean, even on the Moabite stone, it says Yahweh, man. You see? Because those Hebrew Moabites know what's going on. You see? <laughs> you see? So it does matter. That's why scripture says what it says. That's why this says this. You see, and that's why scripture also says there's no other name that thou can be saved. <laughs> there's no other, there's no name under heaven that you can be saved uh, by. You see, you have to know the true name. It's Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Continuing on, verse 15, he shall call upon me and I will answer him because you're calling the right name. <laughs> I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him heavy. Verse 16. And here's the point. With long life will I satisfy him. Immortality, right? And show him my salvation. You see that? That's the spirit, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those of us that have been able to receive this word, this true gospel. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, by the elders and apostles of the Great Mill, so on down. We're truly blessed. Because now we qualify to hope for salvation. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, with us. Double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, 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 Kahalayam La Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakak Kwadas, Shalawam Akiyam.